Continue. Are you normal? Are you normal? Stop recording. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Nigeria Reviews and your boy Ugo. Today we have a very special car for you on this channel. Uh, this one here is a 2018 Bentley Bentega. And when you look at this, you don't even know what year it is. It's just, it's just a Bentley Bentega. So we're going to give you an in-depth review of this vehicle. We're going to look at the hood, look at the interior what is pushing this beast right here because this is definitely a beast so i'm very excited to review this car so we're going to um give you everything that you need to know about this vehicle if you can afford it what is what the market price is going right now once again welcome to the channel if you're new here please like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to get alerted whenever we post videos like this Starting from the exterior of this vehicle, the first thing you notice is this nice, shiny black color that looks like it has diamonds in it. Of course, this is a Bentley. This is like an ultra luxury vehicle. This is a Bentega. So you look at the paint color. This is really nice. It's like it has like this diamond. It's black, but when you look very close, you see like some diamonds uh, on it. And we're going to go from to the front. The one thing that's prominent in this vehicle is carbon fiber. There's carbon fiber everywhere. Where you don't even expect it to be, you can't stuck with carbon fiber. So we're starting from the lips right here. From the front, it has like these front lips. And of course, it's made out of carbon fiber. You have uh, this uh, um, second body panel here, carbon fiber. And then you have this metallic silver uh, finishing. You also see that in ev um, almost every part of this vehicle and you look at the grill check out this grill man i mean it's not so obnoxious it is big but it's not as big but it's right there it's a bentley and then you come to the hood you see the nice badge that says the nice b right there to let you know what you're driving so we're gonna come to the headlights i think the these headlights alone needs an entire video of its own because I don't think I've ever seen, you know, a headlights that has diamonds in them. But this is what Bentley is doing right here. So when you look at there, you, see, you can see individual crystals inside the light. And then in there, he also says Bentley, just in case you think you can put this in another car. But this is what this is. So this is really nice. It has like these nice crystals around them. I can't imagine how much this will cost to replace. So. I mean, you should have your insurance ready to cover this thing in case, you know, you get hit in this because replacing these lights is going to be very expensive. So you have your daytime running light right here, which also doubles as a turn signal. I mean, it's very, very hot outside. So if you see me sweating, that's because it is probably like 150 degrees out here today. But you have this um, daytime running light that doubles as a turn signal. And this, you come down here, uh th this is a uh, your um bentley a uh, Volkswagen um cruise uh, radar detector so this is where you'll find that it's the same that they have uh, uh so if you know anything about bentley you know that this is uh, also an audi product and you will see many parts that is being shared by i mean Volkswagen and audi you see many parts that's being shared um here have, there are so many familiarities like if you've seen um the Q7, if you've seen like the A8 or many Audi products like this. So we're going to be pointing those out as we go. But nevertheless, this is a very ultra expensive SUV. So now we're going to go to the side of this vehicle. So coming to the side profile of this car, the first thing you notice is how huge this thing is. Like I said, this is probably sitting on the same platform of, of, as the Q7. is as big as the q7 if not bigger but this is a four-seater so which is very very interesting 
So you notice the um, back door, the door is huge. The front door is also huge. And when you come down here, you notice the carbon fiber also on the side skirt. Because like I said, they put carbon fiber everywhere. So we're gonna start from the, um, the rear tires. These are running on 22 inch um, wheels. And this is running on Ferrari P0s, um, 285, 40, R22s. So these are huge. And you notice the Bentley sign on the wheels right there. And the brakes are also nice. So you notice these brake um, rotors, you see how huge they are. I think these are probably like maybe, they look like a 15 inch um, rotors. So they're huge. And these are running on all wheel, all season um, tires. So, which is good for for a vehicle like this and uh you see that these are not really like um low profile tires they're still midi so it's going to give you that comfort ride that you know for bentley's to be of course this is run also on air suspensions you can see that down there uh inside there so now we're going to go to the front of this of this vehicle And then coming to the front, you also notice the same pattern, but except for the front um, rotors are a little bit much bigger. And you have the calipers, which are, of, of course, bigger also with the Bentley badge on it and the Bentley badge on the, the B on the wheels as well. Um, yeah, like this is a, a very intricate system that uh, Volkswagen has going on here. Um, so this is going to give you a very comfortable ride. It also switches height and um, depending on what drive mode you're driving on in this vehicle so if you know Volkswagen products Audis um, of course the Bentleys uh, I'll also throw in like um, a Bugatti on there because it's also a Volkswagen product so <laughs> this is very very exciting video to make for you guys um, you see this side vent right here but um, it, it's also not fake which is also very good the side mirrors Still gives you that kind of like, you know, nice Audi Volkswagen vibe with the camera on the bottom for the 360, um, you know, degree camera. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is to go into the hood of this vehicle. This is a V12 engine, 6 liter twin turbo V12, pushing out 600 horsepower and 664 point feet of torque. And this is enough to catapult this giant SUV from 0 to 60 in about 5.3 seconds yeah it is that fast so you don't see too many v12 engines anymore you usually see v8 you know v6 down um, twin turbo but this right here doubles it and this is what this gives you i think bentley and many other uh, just a few um, other vehicles give you like this kind of engines and this is what this is <laughs> All right, sitting in the front seat of the Bentega, we're gonna go ahead and fire this up because it is actually pretty hot in here. Look at that V12 engine come up. Okay, so of course it has soft closed doors because why not? But you can also slam it and it sounds good. So one thing that you notice is that the door handle is, I mean, you don't have to like pull it too much. It kind of like has a, uh, let me turn the fan down because it's kind of, all right. So the door handle is kind of um, electronic. So you don't have to like, do too much with it just pull it like this and it opens up and you also have your two stage uh, memory sitting on here for you know for the um, driver seat you also have the same on the passenger seat like i said everything that you have in the driver seat is replicated in all the other seats as well because i don't know they want everybody to be equally as comfortable 
All right. So we're going to go through the infotainment system on this thing. The first thing that you notice is that this is this looks like a, a 10 inch or is it an 8 inch infotainment system? This is a 2018. So this has Apple CarPlay and also Android Auto. And you have your regular map that you know uh, Volkswagen uses on the Audis, on the Porsche, and uh, you know, of course, here on the Bentley. So everything feels very, very nice to the touch. When you click it, you know, you can feel like you're you know doing something, you're you know, making a nice input. It's not like an accidental touch or anything like that. Of course, this is a touch screen. And let's go to cars. Like I said, this is a, a four-wheel drive uh, vehicle. And uh, you can equally go off-road on this thing. Like, I don't know who would do that in, you know, uh, in a over $200,000 vehicle. I don't think I'll be going off-road on this thing. But just in case, you know, you're, you, you're that kind of a daredevil, Bentley gives you the choice to take your $200,000 SUV off-road. So you have your cooled seat and your heated seat on here as well. And I'm noticing some kind of like two-stage um, controls on here. So you click the button and then you have to go into the infotainment system to tap it to do what you want it to do. I think the same applies in all of them. So one thing I've also noticed is that you can set these um, ventilated seats on auto and the cool seat on auto. Like when you turn on the vehicle, if it's on um, air condition, the cool seat will come on. If you have it on heat, the heated seat will come on. So this is uh, one more thing that they have eliminated for, for you to be you know pushing because you don't have the button just you know, sitting right there. I mean, you see the button right there, but you have to go into the infotainment system to complete your action. And looking inside this vehicle, is it kind of has a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of um, Audi vibes. Like the Q7, you can see that on here because it has this same thing. When you look on this uh, panel, it's very, very similar to what I have on the, on the SQ7. The same light, when you touch it and it comes on. So, you have the same controls, the same, everything is very, very similar. So this um, is very familiar if you've um, seen the video on the Audi. So you have the steering wheel control also, which is also a, a weighted button right here, which also is kind of like this nice dial. The same material that they have everywhere else you will notice the same pattern of buttons in everything even the paddle shifter is metallic and then it has like this rubber um where your uh, finger will be touching has like a nice grippy uh um, leather uh, so which is nice you have 200 on the dash on this vehicle <laughs> and can rev up to 7000 rpm so this is a speed demon right here. If you want to go that fast, it is capable of doing it. So you notice down here, you see the nice Bentley uh, um, clock. Hmm. Feels. So I'm noticing a, a, a lot of uh, similarities in these things. Like I know the, the Porsche has a similar uh, clock on here and uh, Audi has one also, but it does definitely does not look this nice. But this one on the Bentley is even have a, it looks very nice. The vents only kind of feels like airplane quality. I mean, everything in this vehicle screams expensive. So that is why this thing is over 200 and uh, what is it? 240 to $20,000 brand new. I don't know what these are going for now in the used market. I'm not even going to look, but it is expensive. It is still, you know, over $100,000. So you definitely feel it when you get into this thing. Okay, so you have your, your um, I mean, I'll, all I can say is that go watch the, um, the video on the, on the Audis that I have. So there's a lot of similarities on here. So you have your map, your map view, you have like this 
part right here this portion right here controls your um your map and your media and things of that nature and you have your heated steering control on the uh, on the steering wheel you have your navigation voice on here uh, all right thank you yeah this is really nice it's is a very nice place to be in and i mean i only have nothing but nice things to say about this ultra luxury suv the bentley bentega okay so i, I noticed one thing that is missing is uh the um the head up display but i'm pretty sure they have it fitted in the newer in the newer versions of this vehicle like i said this is a 2018 and this is although it's uh about what is about five six years old it still looks ultra nice i mean i feel like these are one of those designs that will not that will age very very well because everything in here is is nice so the next thing we're going to do is to go uh driving on this car to see how you know it feels to drive a bentley bentega so let's look at these um controls right here so you can see that uh, you have your engine start button right there and you have like this dial to change your drive mode and right here you have your heat your heel descent okay so you just went into sports and you can the uh, exhaust note change a little bit and you can control the height of this vehicle here so you can raise it up and bring it down as well so you have your oh this is running on the um the P pdc i don't know what the pdc means but you have your parking um brake right there and i think this can also pack itself oh it can pack itself so you, you you push that button you pull up to a parking lot and the vehicle will search around to you know and can they specify which direction to leave parking space with indicator so you come in and then you turn on the turn signal and the vehicle will start the parking the auto parking by itself <laughs> which is awesome another thing that i failed to mention is the sound system on this thing the nine sound system on this vehicle sounds amazing um i see probably about i think about 18 or 19 speakers on this thing and they sound great i've never heard a, na a name and sound system before but when i turned up the um, sound on this thing it is it sounds awesome that's one thing i can say about it all right so the first thing you notice is that this is a huge trunk wow so you have this divider right here just you know to um keep things from like flying back and forth and this thing can slide you can adjust it to whatever you want it to be like i said wow this is very solid that's the first thing that you notice it's solid uh um trunk cover uh it is actually quite big it is big enough for it's as big as maybe the um with the q7 with the second row seat or with the third row seat um flat like i said this is on the same platform and it feels like it's the same so you have this air suspension uh, thing here where you can lower the car you know in order to and when you look at outside is actually putting the um suspension down to allow you for easy um access into this trunk like if you have heavy items that you want to load in here you can drop the car um trunk down you can drop it down a little bit so you can easily you know put your airport luggages in here i mean this is awesome this is good so we're gonna move on you see that you have um so we have your um 12 volt out power outlet on there so that's all that you see here just the regular trunk and you notice that it's actually lined with felt so you probably don't want to carry anything dirty with this um thing because the <laughs> material of this trunk alone 
uh, it doesn't you know scream carry uh, um dirty things but this is what you have in the bentley we're gonna go ahead and close this back you have your lock and your trunk closer but right there all right so we're gonna go into the inside of this vehicle and see what is like in there and i promise you you're going to like what you see because uh, this is uh an ultimate luxury suv so let's go we're gonna start from the back seat and <laughs> the first thing you notice that like i said this is a four-seater so you have the same material of seat that you have in the front you have the same thing in the back so they basically took the front seat and put it in the back so stepping in here <laughs> wow this is amazing this is wow i mean look at this you you have your um armrest which is of course everything is leather whatever you see soft touch is leather leather everywhere all right so this is one interesting thing even the door seal right here is leather only in a bentley jeez so you have leather on on here you have leather on the seat you have a uh, okay this is a bit of a, a hard uh, plastic inside here is lined with felt which is awesome so push this button don't close the control in this so you see like this is a huge storage you have your cup holder right there and you have like this huge storage in there i don't know what you will store there and then you have your you know 12 volt cigarette outlet on this and this is a four zone um climate control so you have your um climate control um screen in the back of the bentley all right here and like i said just look at this material alone this feels great to pull it like this is just your um uh, ac like if you want to turn off the vent you just pull this and it turns it off and look at the kind of emphasis they put on there look at the, what kind of material like this is something that you're probably not going to be using that much because you just want the air blowing on you but they have made it like this nice so now let's look at the door panel on this thing like i said it's leather everywhere and you have your two speaker covers speaker grills on the door so this is nam any aim sound system by bentley this is by bentley or for bentley okay so this is for bentley and you have your um your memory seat in the back seat you have memory seat in this thing so you have your two-stage memory seat so not only can you set your memory seat in the front but if you're a shuffle and you're used to like sitting here you have your own preset seating arrangement like another person just gets in here get in the back seat you can know and you can set the memory seat back like only in the like look at this you can move the front seat the back seat forward and backwards <laughs> oh my god oh this is uh amazing all right so inside here you have your um your usb char um, charging port and you have your bentley headphones oh let me show you guys this you have this screen right here for for your entertainment i don't want to do too much because this is uh expensive so <laughs> look, look, the screen has a camera also i mean look up here everything is lined with felt up here like this screams luxury like you're sitting in an expensive vehicle of course you have your panoramic sunroof that you know goes all the way from the front to the back and okay let's go ahead and put this back all right so let's look at here okay all right so this is just a, a trunk pass through but the, the way they made this thing this thing alone is heavy is weighted and it is nice Ooh. it's magnetic too 
very nice of course you have your bentley um badge on the seat and you can put you have your isofix for uh car seat that always catches my attention you know because once you have kids you have to make sure that the car that you're buying actually has a um a cap capability of carrying car seats so this is nice back here that's all i can say probably one of the nicest you know back seats that have been in the huge vehicle like this that is a four-seater okay all right all right guys driving the 2018 bentley bentega first of all i wanted to give a huge shout out to lecom for giving me the opportunity to to drive and feature this wonderful suv on this channel thanks bro so the first thing that i can tell you about this thing is that it is Oof. this thing is nice it is very very nice i mean the way that it feels to just drive this thing Jeez. it is very very buttery smooth like the gear changes is very smooth i mean like you expect that on on a v12 engine because v12 engines are known for their buttery smooth right and the suspension is i mean you don't even feel anything you don't feel the um the bumps is this not sports because the way this thing is pulling is like wow <laughs> oh wait, hold on it isn't sports so let's go ahead and put it on comfort damn that was on sports and you still couldn't feel anything Okay. The tunnel radius also. It has a very small you not know, tunnel radius. Damn. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. We're going to put it on sports just do a little pull on this road and see what the bent taker sits on the horsepower <laughs> Jesus okay that is sits on the horsepower and you feel the smooth shifting of the transmission like it shifts very very nice even though it you know it doesn't build up speed it just hits you with all the power but somehow it doesn't like jack you uh, jack, jack your head back hmm. the dr driving uh, um the view angle on this thing is is nice of course it is a big suv uh, this is um, probably the, uh, I guess the, um, this will be considered the mid-size SUV. But, you know, you have a full view there. Uh, um, there's no blind spot. I mean, I guess it does exist, but all the windows, all the, um, everything, the viewing angle is nice. We're gonna do a U turn. Okay. Turns very, very nice. I wonder if this thing has a rear wheel steering because it 
turns very very you know small like you can make a very small turn easily of course the paddle shifters it's a turn shift I don't even hear anything that's going on outside Like you don't hear all the cars when you're sitting in here it's like you're cocooned into your own bubble i mean it has a double glazed glass uh but still yet you don't hear anything the only thing you hear even the road noise is uh, very very minimal like you don't hear anything because this is riding on 22 inch tires which are not supposed to be the most comfortable ones but the suspension and the tire mystery on this thing is just great like i mean you can hear the engine a little bit on the inside but you can definitely hear the exhaust pipe you know it, it still gives you these pops and gargles uh you know back there so which is not what i expected on uh on this huge luxury suv like it gives you like this driving dynamic of like it can it's playful it can be playful and it can be serious at the same time like you put this in on a comfort mode you can show for you know, a very nice prominent businessman back there and they can be doing their work and you won't feel anything so this is kind of like a driver focused vehicle where um the driver can have fun and the uh the chauffeur passenger can also if they wish to you know just be back there comfortably they can also do that without you know you're not going to feel the the bumps you're not going to feel you know anything because this leather seats right here i know they, are, they also have a massage features on both the um, driver side on all of them including the rare the rare ones is heated cooled and they have massage so one another thing that i noticed i know driving this thing is that once you get to um a stop it kind of like packs um it has the automatic uh brake hold I mean, I, I guess I'm not surprised. Like, you have every feature in this thing. Huge. This thing moves. It really, really moves. Woo! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> this thing moves all right Bentley I see I see what you're playing at this is nice like I said the turning radius on this thing it's very minimal it's nice Gear changes are buttery smooth. Huh. You don't hear the, the the tire or the road noises, you don't hear nothing like that. Even the, the turn signal clicks sound very luxurious. Like it's not like an obnoxious sound. <laughs> Damn. All right. Then we should be rounding off for this video because I could literally drive this thing all day. It is a very fun vehicle to drive. It is a very nice, luxurious vehicle. A nice vehicle to look at. Just you know, looking at this thing sitting in your driveway, and when you come inside, it matches the interior matches the exterior the engine everything is all buttoned up this is basically like a sports suv in a nice english suit and tie so it will give you everything that you need on a lot and uh, on a sporty suv like i said this is not even the, the the i know there's a bentley speed um but this is uh, a big suv a big luxurious uh um 
but this is a Bentega. It's not supposed to be this one to drive, but it is. I mean, this is what you pay for when you pay you know, the high price tag that this thing carries. And on, on, uh, I believe on, on the brand new, like 2022, 2023 version of this, you're probably looking at, you know, if not more than $300,000 for, for something like this. I mean, when you sit here, it, you can definitely see why it costs so much because everything adds up. But yeah, guys, thank you for <laughs> watching this video. This has definitely been a very fun video to uh, make for you guys because, wow, that's all I can say. Like, wow. This has been a fun video to make. Driving a Bentley Bentega. Once again, I want to say a huge thank you to Leka for you know giving me this opportunity to do this. I'm gonna turn this one more time. So thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and like and subscribe. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And please uh, don't forget to uh, click the, not the um, notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we upload videos like this. Once again, this is Naja Guy Reviews and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.